Ready? Go! You too. It's your boy Harlow here coming back with another video. And for the returning subscribers, welcome back. Now for y'all new subscribers on this channel, we do reactions, we do skits. We're probably gonna be doing pranks soon, but I'm too I'm too scared to do pranks. Nah, I ain't gonna cap. I'm scared to do pranks, but I'm gonna have to do it anyway. Cause if y'all want it, then I'm gonna have to do it. So pranks, you know, mook bangs, you know, the typical the typical black channel, you feel me? We all a family around here. We all brothers and sisters. So today's video, anyway, today's video is called When Our Generation Gets Old, basically, and here's a song from back in their day. I can already tell this is gonna be funny. I haven't watched one, two. Actually, I did watch one before. I watched one before, but it was on Instagram. I follow him on Instagram, so I seen the one where he did with the piggy, the piggy song and stuff like that. He, he made the song with the uh, with the three pigs and stuff like that. That that was really dope. So make sure y'all check the channel. I'm gonna have it in the link in the description. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that notification button. Like if you didn't already, you know what I'm saying? Cause we post on a daily basis. Because on this channel, we post number bangers. Hey, and yeah. real over here, you feel me? We might be small, but we real. You feel me? If you don't want to subscribe, don't subscribe. I don't want no fake subscribers. That plain and simple. And we might be we might be doing some um like some some um monkey uh what's that called this it's a new monkey app called uh geek app and we're gonna be roasting people that's probably gonna be one of my videos soon just stay prepared i'm, I'm trying to talk to this one person you know what i'm saying he's he one he one of my friends but yeah bro if you watch this video you know what i'm talking about you so let's get straight into the video man let's check it out when our generation gets old and his throwback song part four is finally here, make sure you hit the video with a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, leave a comment, let me know what your favorite part of the video is, and turn those post notifications on if you haven't already. Y'all are hitting my goals too easily, so if we get 400,000 likes, I'm gonna drop a part five. And shout out to Jonathan, Jack, and Chase for being the first three people to like and comment on my last video. And real quick, y'all, I just gotta thank you so much for supporting me throughout my time in college. For those of y'all that don't know, I just graduated yep. from Howard University. And most of the videos on the channel I've done as a full-time student in college. And to be honest, it was really hard balancing both. So for everybody that supported me up to this point, I just want to say thank you for believing in me in this channel. Enjoy. Man, he is a grinder, bro. Oh, hi, how can I help you today? Hi, I'm here to visit my grandpa's Airbnb retirement home. Of course, right this way, sir. One bad grain, and she do what I say, so two big 40s and a big... Actually, my grandson just stepped in. He's a handsome young man, too. God, say hi to the people on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap, but that is, that is hilarious, bro. I don't even... I mean, that's like a Fortnite song, bro. I ain't gonna count. That's like one of the montage songs. Like, they, the kids put on their songs and they start uh, shotgunning people from 30 feet away, saying, I'm good at the game. I don't play, by the way, I don't play Fortnite no more. But it, this is the type of song that these kids be putting in their they montages. You don't know what, if you don't know what a montage is, it's basically when they take their highlights and make it a full video, like football, take it, like, like highlights. Like when people make highlights in football, just show their good clips, put it all together, boom. Montage is the same way. They make themselves look so cold, but when you actually play them, they're not that cold. Trust me. Some are though. Grandpa, Grandpa I'm not trying to be on an instant messaging network with Grandma. That's not what Instagram is. You know what? I'll be back in a bit, y'all. My grandson's tripping. Thank God, what you doing? I was trying to give you some dinner matches with my followers' grandkids. Look, I'm okay, Grandma. <coughs> I promise you, if anyone does this from now on, I don't care if the pandemic is gone, you're out the house, I promise you. You good, boy? Oh, yeah, I yeah, just got a little COVID. Ah, boy, you better get on with that. Relax, Grandpa, I'll just take some Ronin testing and I'll be fine. Ronin test? Boy, back in my day, one case in the whole country was on quarantine. Okay, now you're just being dramatic. We cured the Rona after the renegade revolution of 2020. Now, COVID-89 is what you gotta watch out for. Oh, your generation's so reckless with your... What in the chicken little? Uh, that's just my Amazon drone delivery for my Apple Mask Pro. Apple Mask? Yep, I'm excited about it too. Now I can throw this old eye mask away. It comes in a new toilet paper white color and broke canceling technology, all for only $399. The ability to prevent coronavirus is sold separately, of course, but it's great for filtering my Apple Air. Oh, um, boy, how many times do I have to tell you? An Apple a day takes your money away. What a blind man. Listen, I get it, but it's just a style. Style? Boy, we used to have to wear those back in my day. And I have to wear it too if I don't want to get roasted. 
It's really dripper drown out here, Grandma. Oh, gosh. You Gen Triple Z kids will do anything to flex nowadays. Back in my day, this was the flex right here. Wow. The one that's talking with the, the, the AirPods in his ear. He got AirPods in talking about some flexing. You flexing, too. What you talking about? I wish he would say, I'm like, Grandpa, take the AirPods out your ear. You're trying to flex, too. The AirPods is like $300. Stop flex. Yes, sir. You were too fly for you. Too fly. Grandpa, are you feeling okay? Of course. I'm, well, I'm sharp as ever. Don't forget I got the degree back in the day. Degree? Yes, sir. There I go. Classic COVID-19. Oh. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I feel sorry for y'all 2020. Y'all thought it was going to be y'all year. I mean, y'all had a fun year. Y'all had a good year. You know what I'm saying? It's just like... Y'all part of history now, you feel me? Y'all are part of actual history. But I feel sorry that y'all couldn't have prom. Some of y'all probably did have prom already. Like early, like February, March. Y'all probably had it already. But for the door, for the people that haven't had it yet, I feel so sorry for y'all. I haven't had prom. Y'all ain't gonna have an actual graduation. Y'all ain't get to do none of that stuff. Balloon fights at the end of the year. Y'all y'all missing out, man. That's crazy. I could imagine that happening to me. I would be so tight. Right. Had to make sure I was on the good Wi-Fi for that one. Wait, I thought you were. We would have had to extend school so I could have all of those moments. I promise you. Anyways, college is where I met your grandmother. Grandma, please don't tell the TikTok 2020. See, there's something about the way she threw back her personality that made her catch my eye. Funny enough, we matched on Tinder the same night. So I slid in her DMs like the gentleman I am, shot my shot, and we've been a thing ever since. Yeah, now, I, that's not the same. Our generation is going to be gone. I don't know what is. Well, Grandma, that's so old school. Nowadays, everyone uses the 30 second dates app. They have a bay in a day guarantee. Uh, unless you have under a four star rating from your access, of course. Oh my, see, I can't stand your generation. So impatient. Back in 2020, people were sipping hard just for a chance. Okay, millennial. Look, it's 2090 now. We just don't like wasting our time. Oh, speaking of which, there's the bay right there. Hey, hey, what you doing? I'm just about to text her back later. You guys just leave her on red like that? Where's your internet etiquette? You know what they say. If you leave on your seats, you belong to the streets. Grandpa, it's really not that serious. Yes, it is. So embarrassing. You kids these days have no type of manners. All right, fine. I'll text her back. No! You have to wait at least two minutes before applying. I'd have people think it worked for Sip City over here. Grandma, that might have been true for your generation, but no one uses that old school internet etiquette anymore. You gotta stop with this millennial mentality. Hey, you better watch this speak on your own. And for the guys that actually do that on purpose, wait two to three, five minutes to text somebody, y'all y'all are losers, I promise you. I ain't gonna cap, I used to do that, but I'm over that. I, I don't do that. If I, if I feel like I'm texting too fast, then I will actually occupy myself. I'll actually start doing like I'm doing now. I will make a video or do something good. Because if I'm replying to her really fast, that means that you're just on her time, you feel me? Or you just not doing nothing with your life. So you if you feel if you find yourself replying to every message she sends in under a minute, go do something. Go outside, shoot some basketball. Blow some time off, cause if she texts you, you ain't your mind gonna be on basketball. You're not gonna be worried about her. So when you come back in, boom, you just did something that you can talk about with her, or you can know what I'm saying told her that you did something like that to make your life look interesting, bro. Don't be that person that just reply every second, like every second. Like don't do that. Sometimes you just gotta occupy yourself, man. Like you don't need to be there for that woman all the time. I'm your eldest boy. We might have been in college just when we were 16 and a little messy, but at least we made sense. Y'all need to struggle a bit. Hey, our generation goes through struggles. You know how hard it is when your Uber Eats drone gets stuck in drone traffic and you gotta wait an extra 10 minutes to eat? My son would be punched in the air when that happened. But that ain't nothing compared to what we had to go through. I'm talking back when we had to deal with 3G connection. 3G? I, I thought that was a myth. No, sir. Whoa, that took forever to load stuff. Oh, or when Face ID couldn't recognize you, so you gotta type in the passcode? Had us catching all types of attitude. <laughs> and don't even get me started on when your Wi Fi would start acting up right when you were about to turn in an assignment at 11.59. Grave was hurt so many times, I ain't know what to believe. Grandma, I get it, but it's 2090 now. 10G is out, face up pop window has never failed, and computer viruses are more dangerous than the Rona. You have to move on from 2020. You know, you have a point, Kyle. I won't bother you with stuff about my generation. Why don't we play iMessage board games instead? All right, sounds good. Oh, one second. Oh, that's that Megan. No, it's my mom. No, not that. You know the stallion? It's a hot girl summer. Grandpa, it's been a mild winner. Oh my, it's an artist. Uh, let me show you. Alexa, play the song that goes, I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy, bougie, ratchet, yeah. Sassy, moody, nasty. First first of all, if my granddaddy's singing that, and this is 2090, I don't care what generation it is. Why are you singing that? 
No, I don't care if the nudist artist at that time was a girl. Why are you singing that from the past? Like, like so confidently, like so sassy, like stop, just stop. God, it's part of the song. I promise. Oh, here it is. I'm that <laughs> been that. <laughs> Call that cussing. I'm be that. Be that. Yeah, I'm the hood Mona Lisa. You are. In the piece of pizza, egg some cheesy inside my circle like a piece of man. I'm way too exclusive. Found that's exactly how it was gonna be. Stupid. Because <laughs> we don't got no good music. Ooh, what a turn. Everything is about the same thing. I'm about to know that dance. I would never try to own a if I had him. That's my trash. You the maid, so you back. Garbage. I'm a savage. Ooh, this song made a generation of more race. What? Sassy. Woo, back to back vibes. I'm gonna help it. Grab up. Throw your pouch. Rats for my pension out. Ooh. Tool count. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Oh my goodness, bro! This is this is crazy. This is crazy. This is how this is how stupid we're gonna look. This is really how stupid we're gonna look. And I know it's gonna be like this. We're gonna have to re result to the 1990s forever. Literally, we have to play the TKO. Do 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 do. You know what I'm saying? The 1990s, man. That's the best era for music, for slow down music. You feel me? And we're gonna be using that forever. Especially the poison. That girl is poison. Boost. We're gonna be using that forever. Because we don't have no good music. We got the uh, oh yeah. Can't keep my dick in my pants. Uh, or um, you're such a truck and drove. I love it. We got stuff like that. How are we gonna explain that and show that to our kids? We will have to use the same error throughout any time. Until music change, which I highly doubt is gonna happen. It's gonna get faster and faster. Every every era, the music became faster and faster and more aggressive. What? Hey, yeah. hey, what you doing? I was hitting that. Grandmother wasn't funny. I thought you were serious. I was serious. Did I look like I was playing with that dance? It ain't a secret that I freaked it. Oh my! And that first song was the Bob of 2020. Sassy, moody. Nasty. That, that's what y'all wanted to be? Yeah. Look, I couldn't believe the song either. She has such a way with words. It was a privilege, really. Privilege? Nah, I'm done with this crazy throwback music. All right, all right, I get it. Thank you. That's why I got two throwback music, too. Grandpa, that's really not necessary. Oh, no need to be modest, that's it. Wait, Grandpa. This is what I'm trying to tell you. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, this was actually kind of sweet. <laughs> Oh, I know what this is. Love, love, sir. <laughs> oh, stop. Hey, what you doing, boy? What type of mosquito music? Did SpongeBob Boots make a song? That was Mickey Mouse turn the clubhouse to a trap house? No, that's for the trap by 645 AR. Carter still hasn't dropped the album yet, so we had to find a new baby voice. Oh my, what is wrong with your generation? Hey, you better watch that tone. Minus 2020, our generation had the best of. What could you all possibly have on our generation, Grandma? Well, for one, we had TikTok. TikTok? Isn't that a breath mint? No, it, it was the time where people would post themselves dancing and stuff. You know, you ever heard of a, I'm in the ghetto, gratatata, gratatata, you don't know that one? Oh, uh, all right, what about a, a Carol Baskin? <coughs> Killed her husband. Whacked him. Can't convince me that it didn't happen. Fed him the tiger. That ain't ringing a bell. You know what? Let me just show Carol you. Carol Baskin. Oh, here I go. Killed her husband. Whacked him. Can't convince me. Pop and I black out. And I'm blowing her back out. WWE if she with me. Put the on SmackDown. Okay? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you spent hours making those. Oh, and you've seen the broom challenge for sure. What's the broom challenge? It's where people would make brooms stand up by themselves without you holding it. I beg your pardon? It was a real thing. I mean, it won't work now because it only worked that one day with the way the plans were aligned. But I'm telling you, brooms were standing up around the world. And you already know we have the best styles. Grandpa, if you're talking about that black Air Force shoe racism. No, not that. We were really driven hard. Like these hoodies. 
Graham, I think you spilled some bleach on that. What? No, it was a style back in the day. We did it on purpose. So pouring bleach on yourself was cool? No, well, kind of. It was just popular. The drip in the AirPods gave you clout back then. Clout? Isn't that a disease? No, it's not a... It's like when you knew you were popping. I was the CEO of it back in the day. Wait, you own a company? No, it's Nigga. like uh, we used to say we were the CEO. Bro, this dude is stupid. Does that make me see you a confusion? Oh my, forget it. Bro, you stupid, oh, bro. Oh, okay, you have I don't to care what Danny Rich you is. You should know the uh, slang. There were these shoes with wheels that everyone used to ride around in. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Like rollerblades. Well, sort of, except they only had one wheel. So y'all had unicycle shoes? Oh my, look, I'm being serious, Kyle. All the trends and struggles are real. Well, I believe you have some real struggles already. <sighs> okay, good. Uh, see, for a minute, I thought you were going to call me crazy. Is he having another episode? The whole movie died. What? No, I I'm good. He was talking about some lady feeding her husband the tigers and something about seeing rooms stand up by themselves. It's true, and I know you know about TikTok. I used to dress up as a rapping mom and whip my kids for a living on there and- Come on, Mr. Exum, you can tell the therapist all about being a professional rapper mom in these standing rooms you've been seeing. Wait, I'm not capping. Oh, see, I got my Heelys right here. And we had Instagram and- Wait, did you say Instagram? Yeah, we used to use it all the time. I think I've actually heard of that. It's in the new Museum of Trends with all the famous Instagram captions on display. See, now you're getting it. Oh, shoot. Uh, my bad for not believing you, Grandpa. What do people like on Instagram? Well, the most liked photo was the photo of the famous egg. Excuse me? Yeah. It's almost as famous as the most retweeted tweet on Twitter of that chicken nugget. Okay, Doc, take him away. Let's go, sir. <coughs> ah! Oh, heck no. Nah. He got that c-c-corona. <laughs> Wait, Grandpa, your unicycle shoes. Oh, gosh. Oh, dang, unicycle shoes. <laughs> Addison bad. Wait, what was that? Addison bad? It's just a saying. Yes, from that old TikTok song. I need a bad chick. Yes, sir. Addison I don't be on TikTok Shawty like that. So Addison's the best, huh? She's who you want, huh? No, I'm you watching TikTok. Not like that. Jesus. Baby, you know you're my cinnamon apple. Uh-uh, I'm a cinnamon apple. Don't make me add that. I want to add some All that you. cap is what made your hairline receipt. Oh, okay, All that cap. Now you're violating. Now you're violating. Now you're violating. Let me go where? Damn, it's drier than you're cooking. Oh, okay. I almost kicked the bucket trying to eat your chicken. Yeah, this is too much crazy for my grade. Yeah, you was really a savage for that. Now playing savage. I'm making a savage. No, 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 no. Is that her song? Woo, I fell in love with you dancing to this one. You remember the old line dance? I think I still got it in me. Uh, Alexa, lower. Louder? Okay. Baby, Alexa! I'm a savage. Classic, bougie, ratchet. Sassy, moody, nasty. Woo, look like old bakery up in here. Go ahead, Granny. Mm hmm Don't forget I'm a city cat. I'm a savage. Classic, bougie, ratchet. That's the end of the video, man. Comment down below what was your favorite part of the video, man. It's your whole boy, Hogger Vincent. I'm out. Peace.